and we are going to be making salt shaker photo holders. In your kit, you should have two salt shakers, a bag of rocks, a 12 inch piece of wire to a lump, and then two strands of um, 20 either jewels. Yeah, I think so. We've used yeah. them for a few projects. Yeah, so they're jewels. So the first thing you want to do is you want to decide how you're going to decorate your salt, salt shaker. There's several different ways. Um, in the demo, I did mine with just um, four corners like this. But if you want to, I think I'm going to switch it up and cut three and just do three down the middle. Oh, okay. We could do it however way you like. I'm going to do four corners. You can if you just want to do two on each side. Give you plenty to use and uh, experiment with. So that's what three on one side will look like. Yeah, I like it better than the four corners. So one, two, there's so one, two, three, four sides. So I think it's gonna be four. Ooh, yeah, that works too. Or if you wanted to, you could just take one whole strip and just kind of just wrap around the middle. I cut mine, but you get the idea. I'm gonna take one and wrap it around the middle. That's all ways you can decorate your salt shaker. So I should say this is going to require a glue gun. Yes. Um, if you do not have one, um, give us a call at the library. We do have some that are available to check out um, for these kits, for these purposes. We'll check them out to you for a week, um, but just give us a call. I would recommend um, gluing it on the salt shaker for safety reasons. You want to kind of try and pinpoint where you want yours to be glued. Now, I'm sure you've probably used glue guns before. Um, we've used them uh, several times in past projects, but uh, do remember that a hot glue gun does get really hot, and if you're not careful, you could burn yourself. So, a nice simple little project. You probably do this with. I mean, other than jewels, you can probably do it with other things too, like buttons. But you could do some like ribbon. Oh yeah, ribbon would be pretty. What else could you? Well, that's the nice thing is like, these are a nice upcycling project. So you can just use things around your house. We, that's what we did. We. We're kind of talking about things that we could do, and we were looking at uh, leftovers from past programs, and we're like, "What can we do with all of this stuff?" And yeah. came up with these. So, if you just go through things in your house, you'd be surprised what you might come up with too. Yes. And this was just I got on Pinterest. I saw something similar. I'm like, "Hmm, that looks fun." You'd also fill the inside instead of rocks with some different stuff like coffee beans or sand or. Let's say one there. Okay. I have three on each side. And then you want to unscrew the top. And I give you. There should be enough rocks to do two and some extra. What you want to do is just, um, you can either 
forward or if you want to grab your hands and just pop them in there. Um, you don't want to fill it more than up to, I call it the neck. I don't know what the exact term is, but you want to fill it up more than here because your vial will get hurt, sticking it in. Pouring method does not work so well for me. Um, with fennel, it will work where you can put it on a piece of paper and make the paper into a funnel. And you can fill your bottle half full, your shaker half full, or clear up to here. Does it matter? So then you're going to take the lid and screw it back on. Next, you'll take your pin. You also need a pin. And then this is how you will make a photo harmonic. You're going to take your pin and you want to take your wire and you want to wrap it down, kind of around. And you want to take it and you want to wrap it once over. And you'll take it off. And then you'll kind of want to shape it so that this middle, this round right here is kind of in the middle. I'm going to take your fingers and kind of shape it a little bit. And the tricky part is just trying to try to shape it. You can make it a little smaller or kind of larger. So you want to take the wire. You're going to wrap it around this middle part like this. You just kind of tap like halfway. And you can test it out, um, see if the wire, you can test it out to see if the wire is going to work with your picture. So to test it out, you can just um, stick it in there and then give me a picture. You can just take it and place it in there. So, the picture is a little heavy, so I think what I'll do is I will um, make it a little bit bigger in the middle. Yes, yeah, a little flop. You're going this way. Yeah, going that way. So it's going to work better, I think, for smaller photographs or photographs that are going horizontal. Once you get your your wire to where you like it and to stability. If you need to, you can um, squeeze once the picture is in. To work, you can squeeze the kind of the middles together a little bit. So you see how the salt shaker, um, the wire grain of the salt shaker is big. If you want to, you can cut off a couple of inches. Which I think I will do. About an inch or two. About a few inches. 
at the ends of. And if you like your picture taller, you can make it taller. And then to get it in, just push it down the middle. And then you might need to shake your um, salt shaker a little bit to get the, get the rocks. We are all done. Okay, so simple. And you want to make sure that you put your picture so that the front circle is showing. You don't want um, the back side of it to show. So make sure that the front circle. And then if you need to, you can pinch the wires together. Make it stay. How cute is that? I love it. All right. Um, our next project is going to be. Um, I did that wrong. Uh, making bunnies. Uh, it's called buffalo clad bunnies, and we're making them on the laser cutter. And they're this cute little picture frame that you can put out for spring or Easter or whatever. And then um, in April, our Pinterest club is going to be uh, making macrame keychains, which is going to be kind of fun. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. So thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you in the future. Thank you. Bye.